is Joanna. Welcome to today's session. And today we are working on our knees. So if you have any problems with the knees, occasional pain, maybe past injury, those exercises are going to help you in strengthening the muscles around the knee and also help to relax the muscles that are around the knee because sometimes they're causing the problem and causing the tension on our knee and that's why we're experiencing the pain. Join me in the standing position and step your feet about three feet apart and turn your toes out. And just gently lower your hips down and check that your knees are tracking over your toes. So we don't want to be turning our toes too much. So just want to make sure that our knees are as they are moving, they are over our toes. So on the inhale, bring your hands up. And on the exhale, cactus arms, lower your hips down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down and stay low and just gently pump. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And inhale up. Exhale down. And if it feels good, come on your tippy toes and inhale on your tippy toes up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And pump. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. <clears throat> Come to the top of your mat and turn your right foot out. Place your hands on your waist, or if you know your balance is not great today. Use the wall or a chair for support. <clears throat> so on the inhale, lift the leg up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. So you'll notice that we're working on all of the muscles of our, of our upper leg. Because those muscles really support your knee so it's very important to work on all of the mu those muscles from all of the possible angles. And one more time, up, and place your foot down, and let's switch legs. So turn your left foot out, and let's do the same, inhale up, exhale down. Our upper body is completely <clears throat> static, we're not moving, just the leg is moving. And up and down and up and down one more and up and down and release <clears throat> we're going to move the leg to the back so turn your foot out same thing upper body is completely static we're not moving it inhale up exhale down inhale up down and up and down and up and down and up and down one more and up and down and release switch legs and left leg out and let's go and up and down inhale up exhale down inhale up Exhale down, up, down. You are not moving, 
super fast. We're using that 4-4 four, four breath. Inhale on the count of four and exhale on the count of four. We don't want to use the momentum. We really want to focus on using the muscles and release. So now turn your toes in off your right foot and we're going to do the same. Inhale up and down and up and down. And up and down and up and down up and down release turn your left foot toes in and let's go up and down up and down up and down up and down and one more And we're going to <coughs> take the leg back, uh, turn your toes in of your right foot, and let's take the leg back. Okay, keep the upper body straight, up and down, 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 and release, turn your Left foot, toes in, and let's go. One. Inhale up and down. Inhale up and down. Inhale up and down. Inhale up and down and release. And find your way to the seated position. Hook the strap around your right leg on your foot and gently lift the heel up and if you want any support for for your calf or for your heel use the pillow or a block whatever you may need I'm going to go up here and we're going to hold this here just for one minute so here we're working on the stretch for our calf because if our calf is very tense, it can translate up to our knee and our knee can become sore or painful. And here we're going to switch our breath to four, eight. So we're going to inhale through the nose on the count of four and exhale through the mouth on the count of eight. And when we're exhaling, we want to make the that release sound this type of breath will really allow us to go deeper into the stretch and to send the signal, signal to our brain that our body is safe and in turn our body will allow us to go deeper into the pose and will release the tension. So let's do a round of breath. And slowly lower your back onto the mat and just find your way, bend your knees and gently lift your right leg up and release your left leg all the way down to the mat and we're going to work on our hamstring here and we're going to hold this pose for three minutes. So if you want here, you can turn your toes gently out and the knee should be soft, we don't want to lock our knee but we want our leg to be fairly straight. And just breathe into that pose. So let's breathe together. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale through the mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and here in this pose you may feel some <clears throat> tension in your hamstring but you may also feel some tension in your calf so the tense where your body is tight and if you feel any pressure on your knee just make your knee a little bit softer 
because we don't want to have any pain. We're going at the, about 80% of the effort in all of those slow poses, in those long holds. And if you have any major injuries, especially if they are more recent, please don't go at more than 60% of the effort. It's better to go slow than do too much too early. We're almost there, just the last 15 seconds. So just breathe into it, allow your body to relax. And slowly bend your knee and push yourself to the seated position. Extend your right leg all the way down, switch the strap to your left leg. And we're going to start with the, with the calf stretch. Again, we're going to hold it just for a minute. Lift your heel up. If you need to use the block or pillow for support, feel free to do that. So our lower body is completely relaxed. We're not using any muscles. The lower body is that wet noodle on a fork that's just hanging out there, being taken by gravity. And our upper body, obviously our hands are working in this pose, but we're stretching our calf. So just breathe here. Allow your body to relax. And slowly bend your knee and find your way to your back. <clears throat> Again, lift your left leg up and allow your right leg to relax. And we're going to hold the stretch here for two minutes. Again, if you want, you can just gently turn your toes out to limit the, any tension that might be coming into your knees. And you may feel the stretch like in the hamstring, in your calf, or maybe even in your glute. So really find those stretches are very individual. Each person may feel them slightly differently. <clears throat> So you may ask why we want to be that wet noodle on, especially on the muscles where we are working on them. And the reason behind this is that our muscles stretch best when they are completely relaxed. So that's why here we're using the arm, but we're using no effort on our leg at all. Like our leg should be completely relaxed as much as it's possible. <clears throat> And with time, when we practice, we'll improve our range of motion and we'll become more mobile. And more flexible at the same time. And then if you are doing any martial arts or anything that requires strength, you can combine your mobility and stretching exercises with your strength training and you will see great improvements. We're almost there, the last 10 seconds. And slowly bend your knee and come to a seated position. Release the strap, put it on the side and come back to your back. Bend your knees here. And bring the soles of your feet together and allow your knees to drop to the side. If you find this is too heavy, support your knees with pillow or blocks. <clears throat> and then again, we're going to breathe into this pose. 
And I'm going to walk you through the third principle of stretching, <clears throat> which is time under passive tension. And today we've been holding the poses for between one and two minutes. And with time, when we're stretching, we want to hold the poses for at least the same amount of time or a little bit longer to improve our mobility. Because initially what's happening, our body is resisting the stretch. And probably initially, in all of those poses when we're starting, probably you felt like, oh, I cannot go any deeper. However, when you're holding the pose for a minute, maybe a minute and a half, for some of us it might be around two minute mark, you will notice that little by little, your body will allow you to go a little bit deeper. It will give you that extra space and that extra flexibility. So when you're practicing quite frequently, over time, your flexibility will improve. And we're typically with the science of stretching, we're holding the poses up to five minutes because beyond those five minutes, the return of the time invested is very minimal. So five minutes appears to be that sweet spot for stretching. Let's do one more round of breath. <clears throat> Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale through the mouth. Release the tension, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we are right there. Take your hands and bring the thighs together. Very slowly. If you want here, you can hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a hug and gently roll forward and back until you come to a seated position. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found this practice helpful and I'm hoping to see you in the future sessions. Bye.